Good morning, everybody. It is time to start living well. We're going to do so with some help from the uh, YMCA of Greater Des Moines. And we have some very special guests joining us in studio right now, Jackie, because uh, this is a big week. Uh, it's going on over at the Y. Yeah, okay. welcoming. Welcoming. Uh, so we want to welcome you watching this morning, but also some great guests, as you mentioned, Luce. So we do have uh, Eric Kress, who's dis District Executive Director of the YMCA of Greater Des Moines. Thank you so much for being here. And Thanks someone who's going to share an incredible story with us this morning, Susan uh, Tamorsi, who is a member of our great YMCA. So thank you both for being here. Uh, let's start things off. Welcome. Uh, let's talk about Welcoming Week. What does this mean? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the Y believes strongly that our communities and our YMCAs are stronger when everybody's welcome. Everyone's able to show up and participate and contribute. So we're happy to be one of many YMCAs across the United States, um, partnering with Welcoming America to host Welcoming Week September 13th to 22nd. And this is an opportunity for us to embrace especially one specific aspect of Welcoming for All in the YMCA. And that is one that says we believe our communities are stronger when uh, immigrants and U.S. born residents are all able to show up, participate, contribute in one another and to learn from one so another. So welcoming with open arms is what you're saying. Welcoming with open arms. That's the, every day at the YMCA, but it's uh, something we want to really advocate for and speak about well, during this campaign. You're just embracing it a little more this time around, just to let people know all the different options that are available. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Just a time to, to just proactively get some communication out in the community and, and especially let people know that, um, who may feel that it's a little difficult to integrate into right. certain communities um, or might need an extra invitation that this is a great time to come and come and try it out. So what are some of the activities that we're doing so people know that you are very open armed and welcoming to the entire community? Yeah, great. Um, well, like uh, all the great activities the YMCA has and we're known for that are open to everyone at all times. Those are all still happening and going on. But we also have open houses on Sunday, October 22nd at all of our locations. We have some uh, flick and floats using uh, like the movie Toko, um, uh, various cultural foods and treats, origami. Um, we're uh, you know, giving out these YMCA t-shirts that look, um, they have a message of welcoming on them um, in, in a variety of activities. All right, so uh, okay, flick and float. That, that, that kind of caught my attention there. Explain yeah. that. Well, um, a flick, movies. Okay, so you're gonna um, watch a movie. Watch a movie on our scoreboard at the Waukee YMCA and uh, float around on your favorite inflatable or uh, <laughs> tread water for two hours, whichever That's you prefer. Oh, that yeah. burn some calories, stay in shape. I, I love that. I love yeah. the fact that you're saying you how welcoming you are to the community, which you always have been. You're just yep. highlighting it right now. But also you're highlighting some of the wonderful cultures that are part of our community and also members of the Great YMCA. Yeah, absolutely. It's really exciting to see our, our uh, communities as a whole just because more and more diverse and our membership is uh, I believe the YMCA's are one of the most diverse places in our communities we serve people of all ages all backgrounds all beliefs all sexual orientations um, and uh, so I believe YMCA's are one of the most diverse places in the community and we're really proud to spotlight that absolutely and you're seeing here that various uh, YMCA's that are around our communities uh, have various events going on culture potlucks I love that idea and this is today's event some of them are today yeah. there's various activities at our locations all throughout the week all right. Wonderful. Okay, so more details, dmymca.org. Uh, but we also want to share a very special story. Susan, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what the Y has meant to you. Um, uh, I have been uh, in Y for 10 years now. I'm originally from Iran. All right. And it's almost 20 years I'm in the United States. And uh, since I've been here, I was I joined the YMCA, and it was so welcoming, so nice, and um, I think it's very essential for me. I have multiple sclerosis, and I'm disabled, you know, and they're so welcoming, so supportive for me, and uh, I want to share that for all the disabled out there that don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, come join the YMCA, come do be, be active. It's good for your health and. Which is your why? Which 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 YMCA is your YMCA? Um, Waki. Waki. YMCA. 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 Waki. And what what made you want to get involved with the Y? What phase? No. What made you want to be involved with the YMCA? Uh, How did you learn about it? How did you, How did you know it? that this is something you wanted to do? Um, I just I I did I, I just uh, I, I'm a very active person okay. since. Since I was a young girl, you know, I was going to the gyms and exercising. Right. But since I moved to Waukee, I found the YMCA, and I joined YMCA since then, 10 years now. And um, it's very good. I go swimming. I go exercising. I have lots of friends, lots of, uh, it's just like a home for me. 
yeah. YMCA. It's so welcoming, so supportive for me. It's just like a second home for and me. And you mentioned it was very important uh, for you to stay active. Yes, if okay. you don't be active, you, you, if, with multiple sclerosis, if you, you are not active, you're gonna lose whatever you have. So you have to be active to maintain. Right. Let's talk a little bit more about how the Y has helped you, not only physically with MS, but as you said, you've created a new community of yeah. friends. Lots uh, of friends. Yeah. I'm friends with all the staff, with all the, uh, all the people in the YMCA. I have lots of friends, you know, and one of the stories I have is very interesting. I had a headache some days. I thought, oh, I'm not going to go to a YMCA. My headache is killing me. Then I went to a YMCA and just in, a, in half an hour, it was gone. Your headache was gone. It was gone. I was good. Like medicine. <laughs> exactly like medicine. You know, just you know, friends are a medicine. Yeah. Yeah. So not only pe not only movement, but people. How exactly many times healing. a week do you go to the Y? Three times. Three times. Okay. And, and what are some of your favorite activities that good you do question. at the Y? I love to go swimming. Yeah. I love to go to the gym. You know, I do everything in Y. You know. you're, you're a true inspiration of someone who has uh, dealt with everything you have at this point. And you're saying, I'm going to the gym three days a week. By golly, you can too. You can get out there and enjoy exactly. it and learn what the why is That's the reason I'm here. Yeah. I want to. <laughs> Absolutely. And we I appreciate to. you being here. You so uh, okay, so let's talk about welcoming everybody to come to the why. Now is the time. Now is the time. It's all, uh, again, it's always a great time, but now is just, uh, if you haven't been thinking about it and needed an invitation, this is a great time to try it out. We hope that you come to the why. Um, and maybe, you know, even during that, with this focus on welcoming, we take some efforts to expand your uh, cultural horizon. Um, try some new things. Try some new foods that you haven't tried before. Right. Learn about a different culture. Get to know somebody new. And um, also, you can help shape our community in that way. Now, if someone has never uh, become a member of the Y before, and they finally uh, go over and they visit with you and say, I'm going to do this, what is the most common activity? Is it still swimming, uh, the most common activity, or is oh it just boy. getting involved yeah. in the programs? More? There's, it, it, the Y is such a diverse organization. We have such a broad range of activities. It's, hard, it's really hard to say that there's um, one you know, common thing, but I'd say overlying is people are looking for some sort of influence on their, on their health, whether that's right. um, exercise, losing weight, doing it because it's gonna help you with your medical, medical condition or feel better, um, or, or the mental health aspect of things, the, the friends in the community that Susan's found. And we know that's what sustains people right. long-term is getting in those communities and groups. And uh, so our goal is once you come in and express interest is to plug you in with friends in a group to help you uh, sustain that, that, those healthy lifestyle goals. Yeah, it's more than just keeping you active, it's uh, creating a new life for you. Yeah, That's I love awesome. it, welcoming awesome. in so many different ways. So let's remind everybody some of the great events that are going on, some today mm -hmm. uh, with various potlucks, and I love the idea of getting to know uh, community members through food. I love that idea. <laughs> uh, right. But also getting to know the why and uh, seeing what it's all about. So events happening today uh, in various YMCA's, you can see there the John R. Grubb YMCA uh, later on this morning, and then also if you're looking for something great to do over the lunch hour, uh, Susan YMCA, the Waukee mm -hmm. uh, at 1130 today with an international potluck as well. And then join a rally at the YMCA, the Wellmark YMCA, uh, this weekend, Friday and Sunday events to celebrate Welcoming Week and aware, raise awareness of the fact that our communities are stronger when everyone feels welcome and in. Included. I absolutely love that idea. If people need more details, because we talked about a lot today, where should they go? Yeah, www.dmymc.org slash welcoming week is the best way to find all the up-to-date information. Well, enjoy the rest of your week. And again, just highlighting some of the great aspects of the Y. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so for much. sharing your story mm -hmm. this morning, Susan. Thank you. So much.